Thank you for clicking on our slideshow. This is similar to the program that we were invited to do in Minneapolis, Minnesota at Deep Foundations Institute, Superpile 2013. My name is Tex Legio, and I'm the Director of Business Development at Aggregate Technologies in Houston, Texas. We are a concrete saw cutting and demo company that provides services like wall sawing, slab sawing, GPR scanning, core drilling, wire sawing, robotic demolition, and concrete pile cutting. We work all over the country and will be happy to help you on your upcoming projects. What you are about to hear and see is a modified presentation regarding our patented pile cutting machines and how these machines have reduced the risk of injury during the pile cutting phase of your project. Do you know what this number represents? Well, it's the total number of incidents while utilizing PCM technology or pile cutting machines. This number is the only acceptable number regarding incidents on any project. And this number can be a reality during the pile cutting phase of your projects. Every once in a while, a product comes along that changes everything. And Aggregate Technologies has done just that with their patented pile cutting machines. This is a game changer, folks, and we're excited to share it with you. Do you have any idea what this number represents? That number is the average cost of one on site fatality. What I'm about to tell you is another way of doing something that you do every day. Something that is safer, something that's faster, and something that's more cost effective. But first, let's talk about safety in the construction industry. Construction workers represent 7.7% of the total workforce in the United States. But we suffered 22.2% of the nation's reported work-related fatalities. In addition, there were more than 150,000 non-fatal injuries resulting in days away from work in construction. This rate is 71% higher than that of all other industry as a whole. So wouldn't it be great if we could reduce those numbers? We can change this for the better by introducing new proven methods on, to our job sites. Now, let's talk about the old way of cutting concrete piles, or any piles for that matter. You've got a couple of guys standing in a muddy hole, holding a 50-pound handsaw, hunched over with the blade spinning at four or 5,000 RPMs. Meanwhile, there's a crane or an excavator holding the excess piece of concrete that's being cut off. So hopefully, when the operator cuts through that piece of concrete, uh, the concrete doesn't swing or fall or hit someone and get someone hurt. Now here's a picture of a guy that's doing something that's unsafe that practically they do almost every job while cutting concrete piles. Here's a picture of a guy who obviously doesn't have safety on his mind. When you're using a handsaw, you're hunched over there. That's, that blade's turning at about 5,000 RPMs. Almost 100% of the time, that blade binds up and kicks back. And you're lucky the saw doesn't jump out of your hands or cut you. Now here's a quick video of a guy hunched over in a muddy hole, marking where he's going to be cutting the pile. Notice that he never really finds good footing. The guy standing behind him is supposed to be spraying water on his blade to keep the blade cool. People cut piles like this every day because they don't know about the new PCM technology. Ronnie Wills, the owner of Aggregate Technologies, knew that if Aggregate Technologies wanted to be in the pile cutting business, we would need a safer way because the old way just isn't safe enough for our guys. So he did his homework, designed a machine, tested it, engineered, redesigned, retested until he had it right. 
Well, it was pretty simple. There was four things that needed to change. The distance from the cut zone, less people on site, protected environment for the operator, and use mechanical power, not human muscle. So PCM technology was born. Distance from the cut zone. If the most dangerous place during the pile cutting phase of the project is right next to the pile, what if you increase the distance from the pile? Well, how about 20 feet? The operator will never be less than 12 feet from the danger zone or cut zone. Now here's a picture of one of the pile cutting machines. Notice all the cut piles in the background that have been cut with no one close to the pile. Less people on site. Well, it's simple math, people. The less people on the job site, the less chance you have for an injury. This technology can do the work of several people. Think about how many people it takes to cut piles. If your production is, say, 100 piles a day, you would need three or four crews of three to four people per crew, and they would need to cut 33 piles a day per crew with the help of an excavator or crane to hold the excess piece of concrete that's being cut. Using this machine, with one man and one machine, you can expect 100 to 150 piles cut per day per machine. Here's a picture of one of the pile cutting machines. Notice that it's fully self-contained. There's a 300 gallon water tank on this machine uh, with hoses running out to the blade to keep the blade cool. Protect the operator. The operator is protected in a climate controlled cab at least 12 foot away from the danger zone or cut zone with every cut. The operator sits in a climate controlled cab away from the heat or cold, whatever the weather is, and mosquitoes, and especially the saw blade. Now here's a picture of one of the PCMs working on a day it would normally be rained out due to the muddy conditions. If you were on this job site, you'd take about two steps and then be standing there in your socks. Using mechanical power, not human muscle. Back injuries. Need I say more? The number one injury on every job site. This way of cutting piles? or this way of cutting piles. Look right here. Right here is the danger zone or cut zone. There's no one there. So how could there be an incident? Now, I know a lot of people don't like to hear the 100% being said because something could always happen. Something could fall out of the sky or whatever. But if the danger zone or the cut zone is next to the pile and you remove that from the whole equation, wouldn't you be reducing the risk of injury at that particular area 100%? Here's another great picture of PCM cutting some concrete piles. Now let me get off base here for a minute. Notice the elevation of the PCM and where the cut zone is. Now if you were cutting piles the old way here, there would be another 28, 30 inches that you'd have to excavate out around that cut zone. Because there's not a safety man alive that's going to let you sit there on your knees or lay on your belly and run a handsaw. So there's some other cost savings and that you get with using a PCM technology. So using the PCM technology, you have all these extra savings where you don't have to excavate out all the extra material to get someone to where they can run a handsaw at, at waist high. Um, in particular, here's another picture where you'd probably be rained out due to the muddy conditions. Here's a picture of the unit head uh, where it shows the grapple and the saw blade. 150 piles a day. Everyone always says that if you get in a hurry, you're going to get someone hurt. And it's true. But these machines work at the speed of safety. They just happen to cut 150 piles a day. Zero incidents and thousands of piles cut since 2008. 
Now, let me tell you a story about the first big project that we carried this machine out on. Um, there was about 10,000 piles left to cut on this big project, and there was three or four other companies out there cutting these concrete piles by hand. Um, and they just wasn't keeping up with the schedule that the general contractor was needing. And so this machine shows up out on the job site. Uh, operator climbs in the machine and the superintendent says, all right, you can start cutting piles over here. And so the machine got in place and reached out there with this arm that art with an articulating head and starts cutting these piles. Well, about three minutes apiece cutting through these 14-inch concrete piles where these other guys are taking 30, 40 minutes to cut through a concrete pile using these hand saws. And the aggregate technologies machine cutting through the piles one after another, boom, 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 one right after another. So the superintendent, uh, he gets on his radio and he calls the assistant superintendent and engineer and uh, within an hour, there's about eight or ten guys over there watching this machine cut through these concrete piles like it was butter. And so um, the next day, the um, operator shows up and climbs on the pile cutting machine and moves into place and starts cutting the piles. And anyways, the uh, superintendent, he uh, calls the other companies together and, and uh, politely dismiss them from the project. Now here's a time-lapse video of an hour's worth of cutting. Take a look for yourself. Notice the 25 foot tall pile. It needs to be cut twice. You're looking at the safest method of cutting concrete piles on the planet. One man, one machine, 150 pounds cut in one day with zero incidents. Genius, I know. Okay, so let's recap. The old way of cutting concrete piles, you've got a couple guys standing in a muddy hole with a 50-pound handsaw, spinning it four or 5,000 RPMs. Meanwhile, you've got a crane or an excavator holding the excess piece of concrete so that when you cut through, it doesn't hit anybody. And the new way, using PCM technology. The operator's protected in a climate control cab. He's 10, 20 feet away from the cut zone. The unit is fully self-contained and self-powered with no, ex no extra help needed. Carries its own water. You don't need the extra crane or excavator holding the piece of concrete. The machine does all the work. Zero incidents. This is the number we strive for on all our projects, and I know that you do too. Hands down, the safest way to cut piles, concrete or wooden, 150 piles cut in a 10-hour day. That's pretty great, but I can tell you, we've cut 200 piles in a day with one man and one machine. Now, those were the perfect conditions, but we consistently cut 100 to 150 piles a day. As a matter of fact, we're on a project now where we're cutting wood piles, and we can cut up to 300 piles a, a day there with one man and one machine. Hey, if you need 1,000 piles cut in a day, we'll just send more machines. So thank you for your interest in our machines. Now here's one more look at our patented pile cutting machines. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at any time. And keep us in mind for any of your other concrete sawing or demo projects. Thanks again, everyone. We hope to hear from you soon.